We're constantly growing, the population's growth. We can see around London here today that it's so busy and there's a lot of uh, infrastructure and non-infrastructure development. So we're always going to need civil engineering um, and that, that expertise. I think the way in which we complete civil engineering is going to change. We're moving away from 2D drawings, sketching, CAD, things like that, but we're now operating as business as usual in a 3D environment, rehearsing using 4D, 5D, you know, and beyond. And the challenges are starting to change as well. So things like net zero and carbon challenges um, are coming into play. Yeah, so water management, I think the challenge is always going to be there. I think our customers um, are going to expect better water quality in the future um, and our, you know, our environmental constraints in protecting the environment around us are going to tighten. So we need to step up our game on going, well, we can provide technology and solutions that will make sure we achieve those outcomes, but we need to also manage the expectations because things are either power intensive or you know, in, in, in other ways, they cause demand on, on um, resources. Using, reusing water uh, for hydrostatic testing. Again, can we reuse things like crane mats on site and move those around site? And that requires us to plan, plan better, plan smarter, and be smarter in the way we're procuring and delivering assets to site.